Hey guys, today this video is going to show you how to make this sofa. This is the longest one for my set. I already have videos for this love seat and the single seat and table. So today I'm going to make this one to complete our set. First, we're going to make its leg. For the leg, I'm going to start with straight arrows point away from you. We're going to take two bands. Start from first to second on your left. Two bands. Second to third, and one more time, third to fourth. Now I'm going to take one single band, twist two times, so you will see three rings here, and press right here, as a cap band. Now I'm going to rotate our loom and start looping. Reach under the cap band, grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. And when you're done here, I'm going to take it off. And this is one of the legs. For this project, we're going to need six of them. So pause your videos and make five more. I'll see you when you're done. Next, I'm going to make its arm. For the arm, the same, we're going to start with straight arrows point away from you. For arm, I'm going to use two bands. Start from first to second on your left, second to third. I'm going to go on this way for four times. Three and four. Now I'm going to take one single band, twist only one time, so you will see two rings here. Press right here as a cap band. Now I'm going to rotate our loom and start looping. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. And the same, we're going to do all of them. And when you're done here, we're going to take it off. This is one of the arm. For the arm, we're going to need two pieces. So pass your videos and make another one. I'll see you when you're done. Next, we're going to make the side piece for the chair. For the side piece, we're going to set our loom has a little V here and keep your red arrows point away from you. I'm going to start with two bands. From second to third on your left, and second to third, and third to fourth. Next one, I'm going to take one of the legs that we made, and you grab the two sides, and press right here, continue on here, and the next one. And then two bands, two bands, and last one. We're going to need one of the leg and place right here on the last one. Now we're going to use two bands for the center and for your left. Let's start from first to second on the center, second to third, and go on this way for seven times. Three, four, five, six and seven and we're going to repeat this step and do it on your right one two three four five six and seven now we're going to keep all the bend down because we're going to place some more bands on here. Now I'm going to place the arms. You take one of the arm that we make, put your hook back to the loose end, and press right here on the last one on your left. And now I'm going to pull this cap band and hook it here. Fits from the top here. One, two, three, four, five and stay right here on the side. Now I'm going to press horizontal band. First one, I'm going to take two bands, press right here, from first one from the left to right. And single band, make an upside down triangle, single band, upside down triangle, single band, upside down triangle. I'm going to do this upside down triangle to the second to the last one. And on the last one, I'm going to use two bands, the same, make an upside down triangle, but for the last one, 
I'm going to bring this center part inside here, last one on the center. It should look like this. Now I'm going to press one single pen right here, just then here on each one of them on your right. This two span will be the horizontal band for the center part. Now we're going to rotate our loom and start looping. I'm going to start from here, stay inside this loose band, and then horizontal band. And grab the bottom two. This one came out, so we're going to put it back in. And hook it to the next peg here. And stay inside the horizontal band and the loose band on top of here. Stay inside. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. And we're going to continue to do this all the way to the end of the loom. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Make sure you keep these loose bands inside and now we're going to come back here and do the same thing for your right and center just regular looping if I'm going too fast please pause your video so you can catch up on me with the student looping we just do in a regular looping. Now we're gonna finish up on the center, the same, just regular looping. And now we're going to come back here and make sure you loop all of the bands here. You should all have a nice teardrop on each one of them. Now when we're done here, we're going to take one single band, put your hook through here, and grab this single band through this hole, put both ends in here, grab one end through the others, pull it so you will tie a knot here, and do the same thing on the center and on your right. Take one single pen, grab it through, put both in here, grab one end through the others and pull it so you tie a knot here. Now it's time to take it off. And this is one side of the couch. And we're going to keep this up because we're going to use this as horizontal band for center part. Now we're going to make another piece with arm on your right. So on the other side of the sofa. For the other side, basically are the same thing like last one, except you keep your leg and arm on your right side. So the same, we're going to start with straight arrows point away from you. We're just going to refill all the bands. The same thing, use double bands. And we're going to go this way for seven times. Three, four, five, six, and seven. And repeat this step, do it on your center. Start from first to second. 
second to third, go on this way for seven times. Four, five, six, and seven. Now on the right, the two bands start from first to second, second to third, and third to fourth. Next one, we're going to take the leg, place right here for the next one. And two bands, one time and two times. And last one, take another leg, place right here. Next, I'm going to press the arm, put gear hook back to the loose end. And press right here on the last one on your right. Now we're gonna pull this cap band, press right here. Fit from the top. One, two, three, four, five. And keep this arm on the side. And now we're gonna do the horizontal band. The same. First one, I use two bands. From first on your right to left. And then single band, make an upside down triangle and do all the way to the second to the last. Upside down triangle, single band, upside down triangle, single band, upside down triangle, single band, upside down triangle. And one more, upside down triangle. Last one, take two bands, make an upside down triangle, and the same, grab the center part in here, Last one on the center. So this horizontal band looks like this. Now we want to keep all this band down on this side, like this. And the same, take one single band, press on each peg on your left. Single band, just lay on top of it. Single band. I'm doing kind of face on this one because we already done this so many times. If you watch my other video, now we're gonna rotate our loom and start looping. This time we're gonna start with this side because it has loose bands, we won't last them. But actually, it doesn't really matter which, which way you loop in first. So you got the bottom two, okay, to the next one. Stay inside this loose band and horizontal band. Grab the bottom two, hook okay, it to the next peg here. And the same, we're gonna do this to all the way to the end of the loom here. Now we're gonna come back here and finish up looping the bands on the center and on your left. Just regular looping. So if I'm going too fast, just pause your video so you can catch up on me. Just regular looping, nothing else. Come back here. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Stay inside horizontal band. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. And the same. Continue to do this until the end of the room. Now I'm going to take one single band. Put your hook through, grab this band through, just grab one end through the others and pull it so you tie a knot here and do the same thing on the center and on your right. Just put your hook through the last one, grab it through, 
put one into the other, pull it, so you tie a knot here. Grab one end through the other, pull it, and now it's time to take it off. We have two sides of the sofa. For the center part, the same, we're going to start with straight arrows point away from you. I'm just going to refill the band. I use two bands. Start from first to second on your left. Go this way for seven times. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. The reason why I tell you ahead of the time what I'm gonna do because for the simple step you can just pause videos and just do it on your own so you don't feel stressful that you can catch up on me. So now I'm gonna repeat this step and do it on your right. The same two bands for seven times. Two, three, Four, five, six, and seven. And now this time I'm going to place the leg on the center. So I'm going to take two bands, start from first to second on the center, two bands, second to third, and third to fourth. Next one, I'm going to place the leg. The same thing, continue on here, on the next one, and two bands, two bands. Last one, take another leg, place right here, now for this one, we don't need horizontal band, because we already have it in here. Now I'm going to rotate our room and attach the piece that we already made to here. Now I'm going to take this piece that has arm on your left. If you go in this way, the arm is right here on this side. Touch this one on here. If you're not sure which side, the secure bands are on the top. And so for when we finish here, the secure band will be here. So we want to be on the same side. So make sure the secure band is on the top here. So now I'm gonna take now I'm gonna take this band, place right here as horizontal band, and then the same. Just make a triangle here. Make sure you keep all the band down and all of them. And then the same. And now I'm going to take another piece. This side, the arm is on your right, and secure band is on the top. The same. I'm going to grab this band, place right here on top of this horizontal band, and the same, make a triangle here. And second one. And third one. Make sure you won't skip them, just do it in order. Now we're going to come back here and start looping as we go. That way we won't stretch this band too much. So when we pull it out, you won't, we don't have to fix too much. For the horizontal band here, it looks like a triangle here. I'm going to bring this center part, the same, hug it over to the last one on the center. So this horizontal band is going to look like this. Now I'm going to do the side first. Reach in, grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Now we're going to come back here and do on your right. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. 
I'm gonna stop right here because the next one we don't have horizontal paint on yet. And then come back here, got the bottom two, hook it to the next one, bottom two, hook it to the next one. And now we can release this pen. And make sure you keep this pen down so it won't pop out. It might be a good idea to put your finger over it so you won't accidentally come out while you removing this. Now we're gonna come back here and continue on here. Place this horizontal pen here, make a triangle. Find the next one. And do on this side the same thing. Find the next one, make a triangle here. Next one, make a triangle. Then the same thing, just start looping as we go. Grab the bottom two. Hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. 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 Now the same. Put your finger on top of that one so you won't pop out accidentally. And then just grab it up. Pull it out on this part. On this part, it could be a little bit confusing. But you just need to be patient. Do it step by step. And then it's really not that hard. The same. Grab the next one, make a triangle. Grab the next one, make a triangle. And do the same thing on this side. Grab the last one, make a triangle. And grab the last one, make the triangle. Like this. It looks kind of messy, so be careful you won't grab the wrong band. Don't try to rush here. Make sure you grab the right pin. Okay. Reach in, grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. And the same thing. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. And keep all the pin down. And pull this part off. Now, last one. Got one more here. Place right here. Make it. This time we don't want to make triangle because we want to keep the center one inside this peg and the last one on the center. So just going across from left to right. And the same thing. Make sure you don't grab the wrong one on the secure pen. You want to grab the horizontal pen and place right here. This is a secure pen and this one's horizontal pen. Now we're gonna finish up looping the pen. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. And bottom two, hook it to the next one. Now we're gonna put your hook through. And then grab one and do the others. Tie a knot here, this is secure band, like all others. And grab one single band through here. Put both ends in here. Grab one end through the others and pull it so you can tie a knot here. And do the same thing on your right. Put your hook through here. Grab it through. And bring one end through the others and pull it. Now it's time to take it out. And now, after you first take it out, it looks kind of messy like this. But that's pretty much normal. 
with all these bands. So first, we're gonna fold in and half. So make a 90 degree angle here across the couch. And we're gonna adjust the bands so you look nice and even. Like this. Now we're gonna pull the arms up because we want arm on the side. And do the same thing. Pull the arm. And then keep the leg on the bottom. For this leg, you can just pull it. And then you will stand up for us. And now, after we fix all the legs and arm, we're going to come back here and fix the secure band. So for the secure band, it's kind of messy everywhere. So we wanted to move it to the back here and just put your hook through some of the band close by. I usually find two and put your hook through and you just grab your secure band through underneath the band and pull it. So that way these bands will hold the secure band for us. And do the same thing for all of them. Just put your hook through some of the band close by and put your secure band on the hook and grab it through like this. Like this one, it looks pretty good so we don't have to fix it. Or we can do the same thing. Just find some of the band close by. Grab it through. And just do the same thing for all of them. And you already know how to do this part and we're done. You can skip this part. But just for some of those, this new on this, I'm just gonna show you all the way through. one okay and we're done and you can make some mini people so that will fit on your chair and I have TV so they can watch TV like this if you like this video please subscribe like comment and share thank you for watching see you next time